Last weekend marked 50 years since Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin first walked on the moon. And in the week leading up to that weekend, I spent most of my free time watching documentaries on the moon landing. I also spent quite a lot of time arguing with people online. Now, this isn't something I'd usually do. But when it comes to conspiracy theorists, the people who think the moon landings were faked is where I draw the line. Now, there are some people, particularly younger people, who've just been told the moon landings were faked and have never questioned that. But there are also people who've researched the subject and still come to the conclusion it was done in a soundstage. Now, if you're one of those people, please stop watching this video, go into your bathroom, put your head down the toilet and drown yourself with the flush mechanism. The world will be a better place without you in it. Now, last Friday night, I was typing away to an American chap, doing the usual it was done in a soundstage argument. So I decided to hit him with one of the best comebacks I've ever heard. And it was actually come from Buzz Aldrin. And it goes like this. If you think the moon landings were faked, then why not ask the Russians? Because it was 1969, the height of the Cold War, the Russians were watching everything America was doing. And if they'd had a sniff that it was in any way faked, they would have been all over it. It would have been a huge propaganda victory. Actually, no one said the moon landings were faked until the, 19, the late 1970s. So this chap then came back and said, well, the Russians were in on it. And it's not the first time I've heard this bullshit. But then said, just because we're American doesn't mean we can't swallow our pride. And I looked at the way that I'd been spelling words and I replied, I'm not American, I'm a Brit. And when he came back, he had his caps lock on to unleash the fucking fury. And after a bit of name calling, I then asked, so were the British in on it as well? Because Jodrell Bank Observatory near where I live, their radio telescope tracked it all the way to the moon. And as this conversation went on, it transpired that this bloke seems to think that anyone who doesn't think that the moon landing was faked is somehow in on the conspiracy. Again, it's not the first time I've had this. A few years ago, when I first started doing these videos and I mentioned the moon landing, I had an American chap then accuse me of working for NASA. Now, I'll say now, if I was working for NASA, I'd want a better fucking setup than I've got now. But NASA are planning to send people back to the moon in 2024, and already the conspiracy nuts are all over this. They're saying that because NASA didn't have the technology in 1969, which they did, what they're going to do is send a rocket to the moon with all the props they've apparently used to stage all the moon landings from 69 to 72 and then lay it out to make sure it looks like it really happened. How big's this fucking rocket? Doesn't that sound like a bit of a long drawn out conspiracy that back in 1969 at Kennedy Space Center, they said, right, we're gonna have to fake this one. So we'll send these guys into low earth orbit, but in 55 years time, we'll be able to cover it up. Now, of course, it's not just NASA that have sent things to the moon. Uh, the Russians have sent uh, unmanned probes there, as have the Chinese. And now India are in the process of doing it. And a friend of mine got in contact with me about this issue. Now, because he wanted to know my opinion, I have to be very careful here that I don't sound like a little Englander. But you see, Britain, in the course of two years, has sent India £98 million in aid. And again, I don't want to sound like some right-wing nut job, but given that we're probably heading into a recession, poverty is on the rise, we've got people living from food banks, why have we given £98 million to a country with a fucking space programme? And it won't just be us, this poxy little island off the coast of Europe. I tried to see how much America gives to India. Now, I couldn't find that figure, but I found out that in the course of a year, America gives away $49 billion dollars. Now India, in the course of a year, in foreign aid, gets around 250 million pounds. Now this is where it gets weird because they give away over 900 million pounds. So we give money to India and they just give it away. Surely we should just contact the people that India give money to and give it to them directly. And if they don't want it, how about we keep the money and spend it on our own space program? Because that 98 million would just about pay for a mission to the moon. The trouble is, British people wouldn't get on board with it unless we could make it iconic. And I think I've come up with the idea. Because of all the images in history, 
Apollo 11 going past the launch tower and that USA going past the camera. That's one of the most iconic things of all time. So I think if we do that, but to inspire the British. So just picture in a few years time down at Somerset where our first moon rocket is about to take off. Water suppression system, go for ignition. And as it takes off and go past the camera, instead of USA or UK, it just says, fuck you, Germany. Right, I've got to go now, I've got a call coming in. It's probably the Illuminati wanting me to cover up how the aliens built the fucking pyramids.